Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Indeset condenser tumble dryer, IDCE8450BH. I found it on the street and I took the lid off. The belt was knackered and that's okay. Belt's knackered, get a new belt. Five. 90 i think on ebay it's a 1991 millimeter belt 6v ribs so around the back there's two screws it's like kind of tricky you kind of pull it and lift it at the same time what we're hoping for here is to kind of separate the front and the back that's it it just slides back have to loosen it to get the drum apart from the front seal through this gap here that's it so i'm just trying to get the belt in between here in between the drum and the tub there it is something's come off ah there's lots of pads there oh i don't have to fish that out it's a disaster Let's put the belt on first, because that's step one here. Where's that thing gone? So this piece of plastic here is one of the bushes that the thing rides on. It's got a click in like that. Well, my fingers are trapped. There we go that around on this side i noticed that this hose came out and i think it goes in like that there's the old jockey wheel it's got covered in bits of broken belt so this must have been failing for a while let's get all that out of there the jockey wheel feels okay actually that's good i've got to get the belt around this guy so let's pull these cables off because they're in my way all right so this is a little cover and there's a fan in there ah this is all caught under this board so how does the board come off so that's good so the board is now loose, it can swing out of the way. And this clips up and out. There we go, okay. Get it under that. I've separated the top here just to flick the belt into that groove. Pull the belt down underneath that guy, work it around. That's it. So now I've got the belt around there. I pull it back up on top. I don't think this is the right way to do it, but it does seem to be going on, so I want to keep at it ease the belt in to try and keep it in as straight a line as possible the fact that i've got it twisted as well doesn't help so i'm using a screwdriver now to pull it across and over and that's it right so that should just kind of roll in sounds like a click nope the belt needs to go back around so i need to make sure it's straight first which it isn't now I think it's straight. And somehow I've got to get it over this pulley. It's quite tight even as it is, and there's no play in it. So it's not it's not a it's not spring loaded or anything. Oh that's got my glove. It's got the glove, but we're in. <laughs> we're in and we're on. Good. Took the glove off my hand. I wouldn't want to do that without a glove. Right, let's check the tracking. Try and hop it across one. That one. Try and hop it across there, that's it. It seems to be off a little bit by where it was before, so let's just try moving it across. Because the drum's so big, it seems to have a great bearing on where it sits. that's better that looks like where it was before and it's lining up with the brown marks here on that pulley but there we go right wires back on top sides on and we'll give it a test to kind of slot this in on the bottom like this and pull it forward that should be it beep there it is it's got some climb up on the front just press go i guess wasn't making that noise before i don't think of course it wasn't making that noise before because it wasn't turning so i couldn't tell right it does sound like the uh 
this fellow here, this track is a bit, bit bumped. It's got, see, it's got a, it's, it doesn't, that just looks like it's been there for a while though. So if this track, sh this track should be polished, this, this polished line down here, where I'm, my finger is, but it's going over to the side here. So it looks like there's a bit of a, div a divot here or a high point and there. I think that's just the way it is. I think it's not perfectly round and it's bearing from one side to the other side of the uh, that lip there. So that is what it is. Let's try it on again. I'll tell you this, it was a lot quieter <laughs> whenever it didn't turn. So to finish this off then, we'll put this drawer back in. Has these hooks on either side and lips hooks on the front as well. I've got to get them all in together. It's easy enough actually. So that job took me 44 minutes. That was longer than I thought it would take. I made a few kind of, well, I would call them rookie mistakes. I didn't know where to go. I should have taken those three screws out at the bottom and I should have put it back together in the right order. I'd say you could do it in 15 minutes if you if you knew what you were doing. And this video might go from 44 minutes down to 15 when I edit it. So, so what can I say? It's a lot noisier now that the drum turns, but it is a working machine. So I'm happy with that. It was free from the street, cost me 5 dollars for a belt, and we're back on the road. I don't sell machines, typically. I tend to try and give them to friends. And I'm kind of running out of friends to give machines to, because there's machines everywhere now that people, as many people as I know, have these machines now, I think. But there you go. You tell me about your experience or ask any questions in the comments below. You can become a member of this channel by joining. There's a join button somewhere there or along the side, depending on what format you're watching this from. You can join the channel for just a quid or more every month if you want to support the channel. That would be appreciated. Otherwise, just subscribe and hit the bell icon. You'll get the videos in due course. Members get them first. What I normally say, questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.